Hi everyone, this is Sinead and in this video I'm continuing with the <clears throat> dimension of um, respect, consideration and regard for your own creations, you know, um, that that could also be a, a factor or, or a dimension that plays a role, you know, within so easily and, and readily uh, participating in things that, that compromise um, and, and destroy that which you've actually put, you know, time uh, and effort and labor into uh, creating. So, for example, it's like again at, at a relationship. But, you know, within this, I maybe as a bit of a visual illustration, okay, it's like imagining you, you can see um, a circle and uh, inside that circle, you place yourself and your partner, right? Now, that circle represents the, the foundation of your relationship. But at the moment, that foundation is, is, is mostly blank, meaning that most people just come together in a relationship and it's like, we're in a relationship and that's it. You know, you actually take more for granted than, than you realize. There's nothing, um, you know, that, that, the, that the relationship is really standing on that is rooting that relationship that is, um, in a way, really connecting the two of you where you have actually put in a, a, a conscious effort you know, into you know, becoming so much more on an individual level as well as a collective level for, for the both of you. So in other words, let's say now that you, you walk a process of really, you know, creating yourself and, and the relationship into something more, where you walk the process of, of um, you know, writing down the words that you want to live and experience and express on an individual as well as relationship level. I mean, in that process, it's like you're investing a part of yourself, so much of yourself, into really adding, you know, to the relationship and how it's going to be experienced by yourself, your partner, and also together. And to, within that process, also really respect yourself and your creation as, as the relationship enough, you know, so that if things go wrong, you know, meaning if there's conflicts or arguments or fights, you know, the, the both of you respect yourselves and each other and everything that you've put into that relationship so much that that takes utmost importance. That takes precedence over any conflict or argument or fight or experiences that, that you're going through. You know, that as I was looking at how so many relationships break and fall and, you know, just how people separate so easily, so readily, um, and all the dimensions and factors that contribute to such experiences and relationships, you know, that like what has evolved within humanity when it comes to relationships it had more been ways to, and forgive my frankness, but ways to fuck it up than ways to, you know, create and grow and, and develop within a relationship for it to become so much more individually and together. You know, a relationship should be about personal development and growth and expansion as well as on the relationship level, but primarily to consider this, you know, in um, also uh, you know, researching the relationship and agreement course on the Destiny I process, you know, that focus on this the circle, this this platform, you know, where if you have that foundation of you know both of you standing as equals, contributing to your personal development as well as the relationship development. I mean, whatever comes at, you know, the relationship from the outside or even from your mind, you know, you, you're you both strong individually and together that you'll, your, your primary focus will always be solutions, will always be, okay, we're facing this problem, this conflict, this experience, how can we transform it into adding to the relationship in us growing as individuals and also together to become stronger, to become more. You know, so um, it, it's like this opens up that dimension of us respecting our own creation so much 
that we would not accept and allow anything or anyone to compromise it. Even the things that can come up in your mind. You know, obviously you face things in a relationship. Um, like some of the main things is, is like comparison and competition and jealousy and, you know, attraction and, and things like that. But, you know, despite these things coming up, you know, you, you, you look at them, you understand them, you, you, you open them up with your partner, you find solutions. No, you, you don't. You won't then so readily and easily allow anything, even in your own mind or in your outside world, to come into the space as the relationship, because that relationship and who you are and who your partner is within it comes first. So, it's like, you know, looking at why and how the the world as a whole, humanity as a whole, is the way it is. You know that. Even in, in, in the small, when it comes to a relationship with another person, we'll so readily and easily compromise it and destroy it. You know, we won't put everything of ourselves into it to, to create, to find solutions, to strengthen ourselves, to empower ourselves. We, the moment shit happens, we, we just crumble and fall and, you know, everything is destroyed and it's done. You know, so... We need to change fundamentally within ourselves and our relationship with ourselves and one another, even in the small, you know, before we can even comprehend or consider or look at changing on, on a global scale, you know, where we can create a world in a way where we honor and regard and respect each other as people, you know, in, in terms of no matter where in the world you are, you have put in time, labor, and effort into your home, into your country, your environment, your social circles. I mean, you know, everyone on earth is doing that. You're, you're in some way or another putting in your time, your effort, your work, your labor um, into your home, your land, your society, your country. And, you know, for us to just even support or, you know, accept and allow this continued annihilation and then destruction and wars and conflicts. I mean, it just speaks volumes of how far, um, far gone we are in a way, <laughs> you know, that we cannot even for a moment sit back and, and, and really consider, you know, what are we doing to each other? <laughs> what are we doing to ourselves? What are what is our relationship to, to creation? Um, is there even any relationship to creation? Or are we just species that are inclined to just create so that we can destroy in seconds? You know, it's like a, a, a very odd mentality that seems to reign human consciousness. You know, create, put in the time and the effort and then just destroy it. And then it's done and walk away and then start again. But I mean, you know, it, it's like something that we need to really sit down with ourselves and have a look at, like, even, even with relationships, you know, why spend months or years on a relationship and then just be willing to walk away from it, you know, and um, this has just been the accepted norm of relationships, for example, on earth and in this world not realizing how much more relationships can be and become on an individual and together level if you understand what it means to create within a relationship. So let's start with understanding this point of creation and respect for our own creation by having a look at changing your relationship to relationships. And for this, I would suggest investigating the Destiny I Process Relationship and Agreement course. Thank you very much.